Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So let's jump in and have a look at this awesome Corn World Eaters Army Edition for the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Tabletop Tactics, there's going to be loads of links in the description of this video to their on-demand service and also their YouTube channel. I do recommend, if you like battle reports, to go and check them out. Uh, this is the third phase uh, of an army that uh, we've had the pleasure of working on for the guys at uh, Tabletop Tactics. Originally, uh, there was a force which Lawrence and the guys painted and asked us to make several additions to that army. Uh, this, as I said, is the second of that so those phases. Uh, there's three different bits of the army in total. So um, we've had to match on both occasions for both phases. Obviously, the original part of the army, which Lawrence and the guys have done, it's in a very cool, gritty, blood-covered uh, style, which I do really, really like. Uh, and it's been completed by Ben, one the artist here at Siege. Loads of great characters to start off with, as always. Uh, we've got uh, Lord Zoo 4, the Forge World Corn Lord, Lord Executioner. We've also got uh, Lord Discordant, as you can see, a uh, awesome, awesome Harkon World Claim painted in uh, the white livery of the World Eaters. And then we also have uh, a great Dark Apostle with his two lackeys. So let's jump in and have a look. We're going to have a look at the uh, Lord Executioner, first of all. Do really, really like this model. Um, great pose, loads of little details on him. You can see that flesh cape that he's got, all painted uh, with lots and lots of little subtleties and details and blood flecks and specks on it, which I do like. A uh, really cool white kind of like uh, sort of gritty armour with all the little bits of scratching and chipping and rust and damage on it, which is really cool. This massive blade that's covered with blood, loads of blood streaks and things on it, uh, which I do really like. Uh, so overall, a really, really cool miniature. Uh, obviously carrying some some heads there of, uh, of cleaved foes, uh, which I do really think is, uh, is cool. So that's just the awesome Lord Executioner. Um, we'll look at Lord Zufo, which is that Forge World uh, awesome corn lord with his uh, commissar dead buddy on his backpack. Uh, great little totem there. You can see the loads of blood, obviously that glossy blood that's on the axe. Uh, and we've got all the little details across the miniature painted in a really super clean fashion, uh, just with obviously the real intricacy to eye. The lovely, dirty, damaged armour, but all painted very accurately, which I do like. The World Eater symbol there on the shoulder pad. These are uh, obviously Forge World uh, parts on a Forge World model. Uh, great, great character character and uh, can also be used as, uh, as a terminator champion if need be as well uh, so that's just him uh, then we'll have a look at the incredible uh, lord discordant which is a, a great miniature uh, obviously riding this uh, shrimp-esque like kind of biomechanical kind of monstrosity um, but uh, ben's done a great job of just bringing this guy to life in the uh, this uh, really cool custom white and red livery uh, that the guys at tt have on their corn miniatures uh, but again a really really lovely model uh, you got all the verdigris on the copper work um, all the capes have got a nice amount of tonal variation on them which I do really like um and each of the little claws and appendages has a load of blood on it, as you'd expect on a corn model. Uh, so that's just the Lord Discordant. Uh, then we'll have a look at the incredible two little lackeys that go with the uh, uh, this in well this great selection of characters. Uh, again, really, really lovely dark amount of robes here on this guy, just swinging that sort of spiked skull around with a little uh, sort of uh, scrolls and things that he's got. But loads of shading and additional highlighting done on that cloth work, which I do really, really like. All the little lenses and things across the force are done in like a really nice blue. Um, and that's just matching the original style and painting execution on the original force that the guys at Lor uh, TT done. That's Lawrence and the guys that painted them. Uh, so let's have a look at the other lackey, which is the uh, the book carrier. Again, it's got this very kind of Silent Hill-esque kind of grill on his face, which I do really like. Uh, got one job only, which is to carry books and obviously the candles. But again, done to a really lovely clean uh, standard. Just really super, super precise highlighting done on that cloth work. Um, then let's have a look at this awesome chap. Uh, do really love this miniature. Uh, uh, I like all the little details on him. Obviously, the drips from the book are going to be blood because it's a corn model. Um, but yeah, really, really awesome amount of detail work on him. All the flame work's done through various stages of highlighting. You've got this really cool cloth uh, back sort of cape that he's got with all the lovely shading. Nice subtle amount of texture just painted on there to show it's got a, it's a material, which I do like. Uh, little bits of text on the uh, sort of, I say heresy seals because that's what they are. They're not pure, are they? So uh, you've got lovely amounts of sort of uh, heretical sort of dialogue on those. And uh, the, the thing 
thing I do right like really do like about this guy is that his eyes are completely black which I think just works extremely well and that's been done across various different models across this uh, this phase uh, which I do really really like so that's just him he's awesome and then f to finish up we've got Harkin World Claimer painted in uh, obviously the livery of this uh, corn force uh, obviously done that white damaged armoured style which I do really like loads of skulls which is very very sort of uh, fitting for this chap and the army that he's in um, loads of blood on the spear and on the lightning claw and again we've got a fallen blood angel on the base which uh, I'm, I'm not too happy about but uh <laughs> so that's just him uh which is really really cool and uh, we're gonna have you have a look at all the infantry and other aspects that are coming up in this uh, army video very very shortly so stick around we're back in a sec <laughs> So next, let's have a look at all the infantry. We've got four corn terminators, and then we've got ten corn berserkers. Uh, all these models have the Forge World corn upgrade parts on them. So we're talking heads, shoulder pads, and also the chain axes as well. Uh, so let's dive in and have a look again, just to, to go over the sort of uh, scheme of this army. It's to match the uh, the first original phase, which was completed by Tabletop Tactics, in a very gritty, dirty, and uh, battle hardened look, uh, with lots of blood effects. And Ben's done a great job of matching that scheme. Uh, it just shows you that we can match other schemes and styles very very well here at Siege so just to give you an idea of that but you've got these awesome corn berserkers in that white and red scheme uh, very desaturated red like dark red on the armor which I do really like and um, again you can see these forge world upgrade parts that the um, the heads chain axes and also shoulder pads uh, all those corn symbols loads of blood uh, really nice kind of like um, sort of dark brown kind of basing scheme with some rocks and things just to match in which is really cool so that's just the first one we'll move through and have a look at them all subsequently so you can see the this guy shooting about to shoot someone uh, charging away there so that's just him but a really really lovely finish on all of these with the damage and dirt that they've got on their armor and then we'll pull forward the next couple in the uh, squad all the lenses done in a nice blue as well to make those stand out uh, just about to hit someone with his chain axe uh, again really really exceptional quality in the sense of the miniatures and the way they're presented which i do really like uh, and then just another guy here just shooting away probably my favorite pose out of all the berserkers he's just uh, just cleave someone in half undoubtedly and uh, just finishing someone else off uh, so that's just him uh, and then we'll have a look at a few more that are charging and get onto a couple of them in the squad which i really do like the uh, the massive massive chain axes that they've got uh, again just i will pull them all forward so you can have a look at them subsequently from miniature to miniature just so you can see the consistency from model to model uh, so that's just another one of the berserkers so the next guy let's have a look at this guy with this massive massive chain axe uh, can be used as a champion for five man units which i think is really cool it would give someone a very bad day with that huge chain axe as you can see there i do really like the bare arm as well i think it's very in keeping kind of gives a nice nod to khan as well the khan model which i think is quite cool uh, but again can be used as a, as a champion for the five man units which i think is quite nice uh, so that's just him i've uh, got a couple more berserkers just with chain axes and also bolt pistols there's this chap here uh, so that's just him and then uh, let's have a look at the final two which are very much the same again i'm just showing these all so you can see the consistency from miniature to miniature of this style and scheme which i do really like a very gritty battle hardened and damaged scheme and then the final guy which can be used as a second champion uh, again with a really a damaged uh, helmet there as you can see with his face just showing through and uh, again loads of blood and in a real sort of great sort of dynamic pose he's about to cleave someone in half undoubtedly so that's just uh, this awesome guy here then we've got four uh, terminators which again have all got the uh, forge world shoulder pads and uh, heads on them which i do really like so that's just uh, this chap here massive mace and obviously a combi bolter uh, again all the forge world pads with all the little details all painted on them you've got the world eater symbol round on this side as well uh, which is really cool so that's just the first of the four terminators uh, and again with Lu lord zufall from the beginning of this they, they can be used as a five man unit uh, i do like the fact that ben's painted all their eyes just jet black to show that they're completely enraged uh, and driven mad by the butcher's nails which i think is really cool so that's just uh, another one of these terminators uh, and then we've got the penultimate one here just advancing looking uh, like he's about to charge someone screaming away there again the forge world resin heads and resin pads are really nice just to add those extra details and uh, the chests as well incidentally are also the uh, the forge world corn upgraded chests on these guys uh, just so you're aware so it's only the legs and the actual arms that are the uh, the games workshop parts the rest of them are are just forge world uh, again last guy here with a reaper auto cannon uh, really really aggressive uh, do really like him in this really cool pitted and damaged scheme and style so that's just 
just the uh, Terminators. Uh, we're now going to move on to have a look at the Spiders and also the Land Raider and Divider. See you guys back shortly. So we've got all of the awesome demon engines uh, to come now and also we've got some obliterators and a land raider so a great selection of heavy hitting units for this uh, phase edition um let's start by having a look at the obliterators uh two really cool obliterator models that came in the shadow spear box uh really done to a nice standard uh, all the, i love the amount of colors that are put into this flesh just to make it look really raw sore pitted scratched and bruised uh, it just really fits in extremely well with a sort of uh way that they kind of morph their weaponry and all those kind of things uh, you'd imagine the, the flesh kind of stretching and tearing and stuff which is really cool and ben's done a great job of implementing that onto the miniatures you've got like for example all the blood just around some of the cogs and, and things which i think is really really cool uh, all the blood that around the flesh around the more of the work this plasma weapon here while it's a plasma weapon and uh, again around the back you can see all the lovely colors that are put into that flesh work on the uh, on the sort of back these weird kind of spine things uh, which is really cool i love the subtle transition on the pads from the dark from the lighter reds to the dark reddish black here at the bottom uh, and again all the metal work extremely pitted and uh, tarnished as well which i do really like so that's just the first of the two let's have a look at the second guy very much the same when it comes to the flesh you've got all of that uh, sort of all those colors put into the flesh work of, of these guys uh, again i do really love the attention to detail on the flesh all the little gems and things are all painting that blue just to make those stand out quite nicely that's the second of the two obliterators uh, we'll then have a look at the defiler a great big model uh, has uh, been around for a very long time but a really really cool miniature uh, Ben's done a great job of making certain aspects of it sort of biomechanical you've got the face the demonic face here on the front again with those black eyes to make it look really insidious which I do really like uh, you've got the demon head here at the top that's also done and all the metal work has got loads of sort of uh, grime and dirt and soot and real pitted uh, moving around you've got a little bit of verdigris on some of the copper areas just on the sort of rear of the uh, sort of uh, exoskeleton uh, around the back you've got this incredible demon morphing through the uh, the back of the sort of uh, the, the, I say head part but the top part of here this another demon head just sort of uh, morphing there all the armor panels done with that sort of blood and grime and scratching done on it which I think is really cool all the claws and everything uh, with uh, with blood on them as you'd expect with a uh, with a model for a corn army so that's just the defiler um, we'll then have a look at the land raider which again I do really like the uh, land raiders they've lasted a very very long time very iconic model for any uh, marine or chaos army uh, Ben's done a lovely job of just uh, really battering the hell out of this one with all of the uh, the, the sort of scratches pitted weather in this that's, uh, that's on this loads of mud on the tracks uh, just to match all the rest of the tanks that Lawrence painted uh, for the first uh, when he started the army uh, again you've got a lovely desaturated uh, sort of more drab kind of red kind of colour that's also on all the cowlings of the weapons the, the, the cupolas and all those different bits all the lenses and lights and everything done in that sort of blue uh, which I do really really like you've got the forge world corn doors on this guy as well uh, or world eaters doors massive corn symbol just on the back of the engine and a nice amount of verdigris done on the uh, sort of different areas of copper work and sort of metallics and then we've got loads of skulls and trinkets and uh, trophy racks covered in blood uh, nice bit of narrative there with the blood running down that uh, that, that, that sort of skull all the way down the side armor uh, and that's just the uh, the land raider and then to finish off, we've got a trio of Venom Crawlers, uh, a nice selection of models. Again, these came from the Shadow Spear box, uh, but again, a really, really a sort of funny model. Uh, loads of little details on him. Again, a really cool biomechanical kind of finish to him uh, and this demon engine, but you've got all the skin work that's had the same attention to detail as all the sort of skin that you've seen on the obliterators. Uh, and then all the metal work, again, really pitted, damaged and tarnished with loads of blood effects and all the lights and lenses and things done with the blue. Got a really cool kind of like marshland slates called sort of finish on the basing as well which i do really like with a nice selection of tufts just to complement the colors and it's not too uh, to, not too much that it takes away from the overall sort of color scheme of these so that's just the first of the three venom crawlers uh, i will pull the, the other two forward so you can have a look at the consistency from miniature to miniature uh, but again a really really lovely lovely finish on these just to match the other phases that have uh, one the first one being done by tabletop tactics and then uh, and then us matching on the second and third 
absolutely love the color on the skins all the purples reds uh, to show how raw and sore that is uh, which is really cool so that's just the second one of these two venom crawlers and to finish up let's have a look at the third one just so you can see the consistency from miniature to miniature of the three uh, again all the armored sections are damaged um, with like sort of chipping and scratches and things I love these little moors that are just sort of on the side uh, you wouldn't want to put your hand near those uh, <laughs> and you've got uh, all the sort of verdigris done on some of the copper areas as well which is uh, really nice uh, so that's just the third of these three venom crawlers uh, these are all going to be packed up now to go and serve corn and carve some skulls for Lawrence and the team at TT make sure you check out tabletop tactics uh, the links are, are in the description of this video uh, and uh, yeah I hope you do like it blood for blood god So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.